Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I've been asked to do a vase pour with unicorn spit. Now unicorn spit is a gel stain and glaze. Um, you can get it at Home Depot, on Amazon, a bunch of other places. It's used for different art projects and also um, you can use it to stain wood with and all kinds of things. So I'm using five colors. I'm using Blue Thunder and Dolly Thunderbird which is a blue and a red, and then Purple Hill Majesty, and Zia Teal, which is a purple and a teal, and then I'm using Golden Gosling. <laughs> so two of these are metallic, or not, yeah, metallic, and that's the uh, red and the gold. Now when mixed with Floetrol, the colors do change a little bit. So you can see the gold looks very yellow, and the red actually looks more pink. These are all mixed with Floetrol and actually no water because they're kind of thin and they don't really need water. If you do add water, I would only add maybe a couple drops. So we're gonna get started. I'm using my Lowly Vefe bowl. And this is a 10 by 10 canvas I have underneath here. I'm gonna start with that um, turquoise, then some of the blue, and then a bunch of the gold, and then some of the red. Now I've noticed that the warmer colors tend to kind of disappear, so I'm curious if that will happen. Here's the purple, and then I'm going to go with some more turquoise, more of the gold. And then a little more red. All right, I think actually just a dash more purple. And then I'm gonna pour this in a tree ring fashion on the top of the vase here. Now, as this is a stain, I'm really curious how it's gonna look on the glass. I think it'll end up being fairly transparent. But we'll see and then I will seal it with uh, resin which will also be interesting okay so at this stage I'm gonna let it just run down for a few minutes and once it slows down I'm gonna lift it up by the cup and then we'll do the canvas. So I'll speed this part up. All right, it's slowed down a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and move it off. This side over here is definitely more exciting. But you can kind of see that blue does tend to take over. So let's see how the canvas comes out. And what we're going to do for this project, because I want you to see how the unicorn spit dries um, and I'm very curious how it's going to look on the vase when dry. Um, I'm going to come back tomorrow and we'll see how they look at that stage. And we'll see if these, the, all this warmth that's on the canvas right now I'm really curious if that's going to stay there. It's kind of, um, I, I really like the, the unicorn spit, but it does have some, has a, a personality of its own. Let's put it that way. All right, so at this stage, this does look gorgeous with all this purple, and then you can see some of the, the red slash pink kind of coming through there, and a little bit of the gold. But like I said, I'm really curious how it's gonna dry. Bring it back this way just a little bit more. Okay. So let's go ahead and do a quick close up on the canvas at this stage. And then, like I said, we'll come back tomorrow and see how it looks. 
And definitely lots of warm colors in here. This is gorgeous. You can kind of see the sparkle. I really love this part. So we'll be back tomorrow. Okay, we're back. Um, neither of these is fully dry, but the vase is almost 100% dry, just a little bit wet on the top. So I can actually take it off the cup and show you guys. It doesn't seem as nearly as transparent as I thought it was going to be. Like, I don't think it's transparent at all. Um, and in fact, it looks awesome. I do have kind of a big blank space here, but other than that, it looks really great. As usual, the blues really stay um, and the warm colors totally hide because I did use a lot of the red and the gold in here, but you really can't see it. And same thing with the painting. The purples really stayed and the blue really stayed, but the red and gold kind of disappeared in there. You can see a little bit in here. I'll take you down for a quick close up on that. Here's our canvas, and right here is pretty much where you can see the warm, <laughs> but other than that, it's just purple and blue, basically, which this is still my favorite section. So I think it looks awesome. I really do like this vase as well, and there you go. Unicorn spit on a vase. Let me know what you guys think of this, and I will see you all next time.